this is probably to me the the most important kind of mentor of my life in some ways. Um, he's really someone that does so much, but really effortlessly. He he takes the work very seriously and what it means to be a studio facilitator, but he doesn't take himself seriously. Andreas uh, is so adept at being aware and in the present moment all the time and having a, com to my mind, what was a, a very um, quiet, easygoing, seemingly um, focused on one task. What I came to understand and learn through the years was that Andreas had, a, had the full picture of the entire studio at any given moment. He had an awareness that became my goal to cultivate in myself to be a better facilitator uh, and to be a better artist. Because one of the things that he did also was set an example of what art can be in our lives. When I first met Andreas was in 2005. He asked me if I wanted to learn about printmaking. And I didn't know what it was and I was kind of skeptic about it. And he was like, why don't you try it out? So I tried it, I wasn't really that good. I kept cutting my finger and then I didn't know what to draw. Then I just got better at it. And he said, see, you could do it. He's understanding, he's loving, he's a really good teacher, and he doesn't let you get away with not working. I think in the way that he shows care is, is like, is like always present in the way that like the air is always present. You don't, you don't necessarily know, notice that, that you're breathing all the time. Uh, but when you stop to think about it, you need to breathe all the time. <laughs> it feels like, um, yeah, Andres is, is caring for you in that same way. He knows what you need, and he'll provide it, um, but you might not notice that he's doing that. Like, what is the role of the studio facilitator? And he told me that the role was just to set the stage for creativity. Um. You know, just follow the um, follow the, the the artist. You know, um, you can give a few recommendations here and there, but uh, you have to you have to wait for the artist to uh, to initiate the, the the dialogue, where the dialogue is uh, a spoken word, or or just creating, uh, making a drawing, or or making a making a painting. You know, it's just. Uh, also for artists, they come with, if not an idea, but a necessity, the need to create, the need to express themselves uh, in whatever medium that uh, it, is, uh, it is proposed to them, whatever medium is presented to the artist. There's a need to uh, communicate. It's, uh, it's the artist, the one that is going to direct you, not the other way around.